this episode of Hank's Bare Bones Garage, we work on my dad's El Camino, and it doesn't go that well. <laughs> That's right guys, it's 2022. It's a new year, it's time for new projects. Don't worry, I promise the Malibu will be back. Behind me is my dad's 1986 Chevy El Camino. A few months ago, this car did run and kind of drive, kind of. Um, it threw a code, so my buddy Jason Stoltz from Prodigious Customs came over. He and I troubleshot it, we figured it out, we got the code cleared. And we figured out that the O2 sensor in the car was garbage. Also, it pretty much had disintegrated. So in this video, we're actually gonna get this car running and driving again because I wanna be able to drive it out of the garage rather than have to push it because I'm lazy and the car's heavy. <laughs> in this episode, we're gonna change out a fuel filter. We're gonna put a new O2 sensor in it. We're gonna do an oil change on it add new coolant to it and maybe pull the plugs out and clean them if need be we'll see but at the end of the video we're going to take this car for a drive around the block because it hasn't been on the road in a hot minute so let's get to it I think it's a 14, okay. It is not, oh, it is a 14. This oil hasn't been changed since 2003. <laughs> so it's gonna be grody. Okay, let's see. Ooh, my. Whee! Oh, that was close. We almost completely missed the catch can. That black is night or what? <laughs> oh my goodness. <sighs> that bad boy is on there. I'm gonna have to go to the store and uh, get a filter wrench cause holy crap. I'm a wimp apparently. Don't worry guys, <laughs> I got the stuff. It only took me four hours, but I got it. <laughs> oh, grody. It's always a good idea to just wipe the the mating surface off where the oil filter gasket is gonna sit, just so there's no chance of anything leaking past. And tight, guys. That's it. <laughs> now, since we're under here. We might as well just go ahead and find the fuel filter and replace it since we're down here. And then we're done laying on the cold concrete and we can just put oil in it, put some coolant in it, put some gas in it. Oh, JK. <laughs> oh no, I forgot about the O2 sensor. <sighs> yeah, be ready to have your car pee on you. Drip away. Drippy, drippy. We got it. Here's our new guy. A real high quality micro guard. Cinch everything down. Let go, let go. And snuggy duggy. All right, <laughs> check it out. We've done half of an oil change and replaced the fuel filter. <laughs> Now the next thing we're gonna tackle is the O2 sensor and let me show you what happened to it. <laughs> this part right here was attached to the nut, but it straight up broke off. 
that old nut and that shiny thing in the middle of it you see that's the other half of the o2 sensor so we got to get that out and uh you know in all honesty i don't have a lot of faith shoot you know the best way to get to this might be through the wheel well and this is too small anyway i was actually having a hard time getting it from the bottom and the top of the car so i was looking at Am I going to have to pull the inner wheel well out? Well, come to find out, once I drooped the suspension, I had enough room to get my hand between the wheel well and the upper control arm to get a wrench on it and actually turn it. And surprisingly, one good push and it came loose. It slipped and I hit my knuckle and <laughs> kind of wanted to cry for a second, but it's coming out, guys. <laughs> There's a big difference in there. <laughs> oh, shoot. Well, I am so relieved that this actually came out. I'm, <laughs> you guys honestly have no idea. A part that gets baked by an exhaust manifold constantly is very rare that they come apart. So, the fact that it did, oh, hell of freaking Luya. <laughs> Let's get this new guy in. Got the O2 sensor in, it's as snug as I can get it. Now all we gotta do is plug the wire back in and the O2 sensor's done. All right, she's in. I'm not exactly 100% sure how many quarts of oil this little 4.3 takes. I'm assuming it's five. But, you know. It's a good idea to double check that your drain plug is back in and your oil filter's on all the way. <laughs> Drink up, little buddy. We're at the full line. Okay, we're gonna stop there at four and a half quarts. It says it's full, so I'm gonna say it's happy. Let's put some coolant in this bad boy. Oh, damage. <laughs> Just spilled the precious green liquid. Dang it. It's topped off. Let's put the battery in. battery should be all nice and charged up and ready to go <laughs> all right there we go cool beans friends so let's recap real quick fresh charge on the battery new o2 sensor fresh oil change new fuel filter ah, that didn't take too long at all <laughs> um it's got new spark plugs in it, but there's a high probability that they're fouled out. But because I'm impatient, I just want to try and start the car anyway. So yeah, let's see if the car will start. <laughs> okay, so there's a high possibility that the uh, car might be out of gas. <laughs> so I ran to the gas station. I got five gallons of gas. I put about two and a half gallons in it. I went ahead and I already primed the fuel system, so come on, baby. it is missing a little bit so there's a very high possibility that the uh, spark plugs are fouled out from it running super rich the past few months so what we'll do is tomorrow because it's getting late what we'll do is pull the spark plugs out <clears throat> clean them as best as we can put them back in and see if that solves the problem so be right back <laughs> Just uh, pulling out this here number one spark plug, seeing if she's fouled out. Oh, 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 oh yeah. As you can see, that's pretty dark and gross. We'll spray some brake clean on it, wipe it off really good, and see if we can't clean this up. We'll do all six of them, put it back in, and fire this bad boy up and see if she runs like a top.
Yeah, that took me a lot longer than it should have, but we got it. So, <laughs> let's start this thing and hopefully it runs a little bit smoother than it did yesterday. We'll let it warm up a little bit and see if it clears out once it gets warm. It might be running rich because of the choke, so we'll see what it does. Still doesn't have a check engine light, but it doesn't seem to be running that good. It runs a little bit better than it did yesterday, but not great. So anyway, we'll look farther into it. We're gonna get this thing running like a top, I promise. I somewhere, I know I have a distributor cap for this car, but I can't find it. So what we'll do is we'll pull the cap out and we'll just clean out the contacts on it really good and put it all back together and then see what it does. And up she comes. There is some rust and grime and crap in there. See that stuff in there? Yeah, that's that's no bueno. I went ahead and sanded the contacts and did a little bit of scotch bright on them. There's still some rust, it looks like, residue on, on there, but it's a lot better than it was. And then I went ahead and just scotch brighted all of these contacts, so hopefully they're a little bit more conductive. And uh, yeah, that's all we'll do to that. Really, the best thing would be probably to just replace the cap, but. I'm just gonna kind of do this the cheap and easy way, and hopefully it works. Unfortunately, that didn't go exactly how I expected. <laughs> the car still runs like garbage. It pops, it sputters. Um, it's not happy, but that's okay. Uh, we'll just go ahead and replace the coil, the wires, the, uh, the cap, and possibly replace the rotor, depending on how hard it is to actually replace. I'll do some research and look into that. And then uh, hopefully that'll be enough that it runs smoothly like it did when I was a kid. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'll take it for a drive and go cruise it a little bit. Maybe do a burnout. <laughs> Maybe if it'll let us. Because <laughs> these tires are older than dirt. And you know what? There's nothing better than tire smoke. So thank you for watching these videos. I really do appreciate it. It means a lot to me. And also guys, no joke, I love hearing from you. So shoot me a message in the comments if you want. I have an Instagram account, Hayden's Bare Bones Garage, all one word. You guys can message me there if you would like. Talk to me about your projects. Tell me what's going on. If you guys have any questions, send them my way. I'll be more than happy to answer them to the best of my abilities. Thank you again. I'll catch you on the next one.